Hey, hello, friends. Here we go again. <laughs> it's your boy, Brady, and I come to talk to y'all about something. You know what I'm saying? I had to talk to y'all about something because this actually is important. So, um, we, we, if yesterday you see my video, you don't got to watch the full video, but you know, I had went to the basketball game, but I had went to the basketball game. Cool. It, we went to a basketball game. You know, at the basketball game, it's the, it's the playoffs. This game was the playoffs, man. So it was a whole bunch of people there. I'm talking like a whole bunch of people, whole bunch of vibes. Cool, cool, cool. I was with my vibe. You know what I'm saying? So what I want to tell y'all was, I'm not going to lie. It was a lot of pretty girls. It was a lot of pretty girls. I was with my girl. It was a lot of pretty girls. But one thing I wanted to say was, it didn't like, it didn't like, made me, phase me like to cheat, bruh. Like, not a real relationship is really not hard. And now that I learned f from a lot of bullshit, I'm not going for no bullshit. Like, if, she's, if this girl started showing me red flags, one red flag, I'm out the door. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that forgiving shit no more, but that shit did. But like, what I was saying is, nigga, I can actually be loyal, nigga. And I can actually, See other girls, oh, they cool, but it won't make me cheat on my girl. Because you know, like, that one person that actually do right by you type shit and just, like, hold that shit down. I hope all these niggas realize this shit. Like, one girl that holds you down, she actually there for you. Yeah. Like, I know we young, like, but still, like, right now, I'm, I'm focusing on me and her, like, and type shit. Like, she real as fuck. Like, we on the game, you know what I'm saying? She's holding my hand, leading the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, like, it made me feel good because it was like, damn, after that, we went on a date. Hey, guys, she bought me a ticket to the game, bruh. I was going to buy my ticket. I didn't even know the girl bought my ticket, bruh. I was going to buy it once I got there, but she bought me a ticket, my nigga. That shit was crazy, bruh. I was like, damn, you really like some good, like, real life, real life this. The thumbnail go back like a cute picture. We all, we had, everybody had to wear, like, black. And, you know, I love black. Black, like, my favorite color. Nigga, I'm black. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that jump was just amazing. And, like, I had to, like, show y'all, like, damn, like, it's really not hard to be loyal, like, of course, other people gonna look good, but it don't mean to cheat. You know what I'm saying? It might be somebody that look better than your girl, but I don't mean to cheat. You feel me? Like, let's give an example. If you have a home, loyalty goes everywhere. If you have a homeboy, right, and you go steal his, go smash his girlfriend, where's the loyalty? So basically, if you if you stab your girl, you stab your man's. I feel like that's it's not no different type of loyal, bro. Most y'all niggas choose loyalty of your girl and your bro. My nigga sound like to me, you like dick. You know what I'm saying? But loyalty is like. 100% around. If you get married, bro, it's no way that you should be more loyal to your guys than your wife. It's just no way, bro. When I get married, my nigga, my wife comes first, bro. On soul, my nigga. But it's not my wife. I'm just giving an example. When I get married, bro, it's, it's, it's done deal. It's done deal. It's done deal. Done deal. Done deal. 